What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, I'm Evil Rabbit here on a set of Corsa on the Xbox One, so I had a lot of fun last time driving the Expo at the Norsch Live. So I'm here again, but this time we're in the Time Attack Super, we're going to try and actually get some grip racing in and see if we can't lay down a decent time and try and not, you know, lose control of this car. Um, I haven't driven this one before, so I'm interested to see how this is going to work, I know it has... Turbo is probably set low. We're going to leave it low until maybe maybe we'll boost it up. I'm not sure, but it is a time attack car, so I'm hoping it's got plenty of grip, and uh, let's hope these bumps don't mess with this car too bad. All right, so we are here on the full... We're on the full wheel rig. 900 degrees of rotation. Logitech G920. Logitech G920 shifter. I believe we already went the wrong way. Uh... Custom handbrake, which we're not going to be using in this episode. Yeah, we did go the wrong way. Oh, that's a way to start off. Alright, so we are here in the Time Attack Supra. We got our Logitech G920, full 900 degrees of rotation, Logitech shifter, hydraulic handbrake, 350mm NRG Innovations wheel, and all on my custom built set up and sitting comfortably in our energy innovations geo black seat so we're gonna see if we can't get a good run here we're gonna leave everything how it is Ooh, this thing sounds like it's a monster already i haven't driven this car yet so we're gonna see how this goes we're here in the tourist one again because i do like that one a lot so here we go I believe the time starts at this building sign yep there we go time started See if we can't get a good run going. Hopefully this thing has grip. So far so good. Seems like it's got good brakes and good grip. Turn in seems okay. We may actually be able to get some decent a decent run here. As long as we don't totally screw up. I believe the turbos are probably stuck set at 70. We're gonna leave them right there for right now. Our break downhill, there we go. Now I am getting more in track racing with Project Cars 2 coming out. So look forward to Project Cars 2 coming to the channel. Definitely excited to get my hands on some of those cars in that game and feel, you know, the wheel physics in Project Cars 2. So look for that coming to the channel. Ooh, heavy braking, we're good. This thing's got grip though. The massive spoiler in the back is probably helping us out. Not doing too bad. Ooh, save it. Kind of a little throttle so we don't lose it. Probably broke a little bit too early for that. Ooh. Said, don't do much racing on a Seto, but I am definitely enjoying it. But the project car is too coming out. The racing is going to be a lot more there. Oh, this car is going to get really light over this bump. He's off the gas. Counter those bumps because I knew those bumps were coming. There we go. A little rumble strip run. We're good. I thought I, I was thinking it was a different turn than it was. This thing's got the power. I know we're going to have to ease up here because there's some bumps up here. Ease up a little bit so we don't go off track. Over those bumps. There we go. Hard braking in the second gear. We're good. There we go. This Supra, though, definitely a monster. There we go. Whew. So far, so good run. It good run here at Nuremberg. Coming to a little bit of a twisty section. He's up a little bit so we don't lose control over these bumps. These bumps are kind of treacherous with this car right now. I'm noticing it it unsettles the car like right there. We didn't do too bad. We didn't go completely off track, so just a little bit off. But we're good. Yeah, the turbos are at 70%. I don't want to know what this thing does at 100%. Ooh, stay off that grass. Fourth gear. Out of the throttle, there we go. Roll into it. Don't want to over throttle out the turns. There we go. There we 
go, we're good. Probably could be going a lot faster, but trying to be smooth and not wreck. I've driven this track so much in other games, you'd think I know turns, which I kind of do know the turns and, you know, what's coming up, so it kind of helps. And no, I don't know, like, everything on the track, of course, because, you know, I haven't driven it as much as some of the people that drive this track on the daily and some of the you know, driving instructors that know this track, like the back of their hand, every turn, every bump, everything. Hands are getting kind of sweaty right now. Gripping onto this energy wheel for sure. Trying to hold onto this car. Ooh, see you, Just a little tap, we're good. Down shift, that little crackle from the back of the exhaust. Good. So far, so good. I feel like we're on a decent time, too. Now, I just gotta remember, I am on the tourist one, so it will end at a, one of the overhead signs, and I gotta slow down, because there is those barricades. Ooh. Probably could've taken that turn a little bit faster, but... Woo! Ripping tight on this wheel right now. You see this section of the bumps? Go. We're breaking here, so we're going to go into that wall. We're good. This Supra is a lot of fun to drive, though. I feel like I should have my center console on the other side of the, you know, rig right now, so I'm shifting with my, you know, left hand instead of my right. But this gear probably could take that a little bit faster. Really, this car has a lot more grip than I'm thinking it does. But then with my luck, I'll get cocky and I'll completely lose it. Oof. Didn't think I was going to slow it on up there. Luckily, the Supra has really good brakes. Coming to the first carousel turn. Bang that off third gear. Oh. First time I didn't actually pop out of the carousel, but definitely was not the smoothest in there for, by any means. I am having a blast here on Assetto recently. Even, you know, just doing, you know, track racing and such like this, it's a lot of fun. You know, I do miss, you know, doing track racing. That's why, you know, I decided recently to do a couple uh, episodes here running the Nuremberg. Back and got a little squirrely on braking there. There you go. The third arrow was about to shift, but realized that the turn was coming up. Just banging this red line through gear, no! Get off the wall, come on, come on, come on, we were doing so good. Don't lose it! Oh, and there it is. There's our first spin out of the day. I knew it was going to happen. I, I knew I wasn't going to go an entire lap clean. It was, it was just it was bound to happen. I feel like we're coming, getting close to uh, the end here. We're at a pretty, I mean, not a world record pace time, because I, I know the new sedan record is like six minutes and... 57 seconds or something on those lines, incredibly fast by that Subaru. And if you ever if you haven't seen that video, that video is incredible from the inside of that car. He's just, you know, bouncing all around, like putting that car to the limits. Go. Fourth gear. I'm the third. Seat right there. I thought the car can handle grip up, you know, grip a little more, but oof. Don't you go way too soon there. Just crackling that exhaust though. It sounds awesome. The sounds in this game are far none, probably some of the best sounding, you know, car sounds in this game. That's why I can't wait to get my PC so I can run the mods. 
But from what I've seen from Project Cars 2 and you know, Forza 7, the sounds in those games are also incredible. So here we go. I believe this is actually the end right here at this Audi sign. And yep, eight minutes and like 12 seconds. Now I know we gotta slow down because the last time, if you remember, I just went careening into this wall. Are these barricades, which I believe are up here. So we're gonna actually slow down, and see where it takes us. I believe it takes us back into the parking area. Oh, takes us back to where we started. We'll just park our super here. Oh, we're gonna switch cars and uh, see what we can do in another car. Eight minutes, 12 seconds, not bad. Let's see what cars, I gotta stick with cars that use my shifter, so. Mm. GTR? Yep, I'm feeling like we should rip this GTR. It's not a track car, so we may have to slow it a lot more, but. I do love the sound of an RB. GTR v spec Nuremberg. I'll check you guys when we are in the parking lot. All right, so we're here in the GTR. Let's see what we got going. We got semi slicks on. The idle sounds amazing. So, which car do you think is going to be faster, the GTR or the Time Tax Supra? We're about to find out. Now. This isn't a track car by any means. Oh, but the sound of it is amazing. Just take a second and, you know, take this in. Oh, the sounds are amazing. So, I have a feeling the Supers can be a lot faster. But we do have all of the drive, so maybe we'll be able to take the turns differently or power out faster. The Supra's definitely faster. We've already maxed out the speedo on this car. Oh, the sounds though. This GTR just beats the Supra in sounds. Although. It doesn't handle that bad. Acceleration is just. Definitely a lot slower than that Supra was. But I think this thing sounds so much better. Handling's not bad. I thought it was going to be a whole lot different because, you know, not, you know, no big wings or anything like that. But, it's not bad, save it, but although we did spin out the Supra, so maybe we can actually beat it if we don't spin out the GTR, which we shouldn't because it's all in drive. I say that now, but, once again, I feel like my uh, center console should be over here, but it's not. off the gas as much here. Oh, oh, uh, running all the way out to the other rumble strip there. Alright, I think this car is my favorite sounding car so far. The crackles when it shifts, the red line sound, just the sheer turbo sound of this car. Of course the GTR always sounds amazing. That blow off valve, that fluttering. bottoming out. Heartbreaking into there. The front end is bottoming out. We're good though. Ooh. Ripping through this section though. Oh jeez. Things just bottoming out. Uh, I don't think I broke. Oh my god. I didn't think I was going to break enough for that. Wow. I honestly didn't think the car was going to break as much as it did, but it did. This GTR is nothing but surprising me right now. 
And this thing's stock, too. God, this thing is amazing. Surprisingly, the turn in this car is amazing. I wonder if it's... I feel like it's driving better because the speeds are a little bit slower, or maybe it's just because it's all-wheel drive. It makes me want to try other cars and see, you know, what times we can get with other cars on this track in this little tourist section here on the Nuremberg. So far, the bar's been set within Supra at like 8 minutes and 12 seconds. I feel like uh, we're going to try some more cars. If you guys want to see other cars here on the Nuremberg ring, comment down in the comment section down below. But remember, if it is, I do not have my sequential setup yet, so... I probably should be building that for the other cars, like the track cars that require me to use my paddle shifters. And I don't have paddles back here at the moment. Remember, because I've removed them all. So, oof, that turn was beautiful. Ooh, a little oversteer there. Nothing that uh, the car can't handle there. I think I'm short shifting. Their gear. Late break. Yes. This car. Ah, oh, the sound of this. This is just too much fun right now. You know, just cruising the Nuremberg ring and this GTR. You know, too bad I couldn't do this in real life because that would be, you know, amazing. You know, just to drive the Nuremberg ring in real life would be, you know probably one of my biggest bucket lists I have which hopefully I get a chance to do some point in time I don't know if we're gonna be a whole this turn though we have to ease up a little bit probably with gear there we go just bottoming out the car I keep hearing it bottoming out GTR just screaming right now All the pops from this car. Go, coming into the first carousel turn. See if we can get this better than we did with the Supra. Nope. We're gonna fall out of it, but we can be able to keep the turn though. Not bad. Right on that rumble strip edge. This car. Oh. I can't say enough how much fun this is. Jeez. Oh, if you haven't done this, I recommend you try this. Hop into GTR, head to the Nuremberg, and just, you know, enjoy the drive. So I'm going to let you guys just enjoy the sounds of this GTR right now. Okay, don't enjoy that sound. That was a bad sound. <laughs> that was a wrong gear choice on that section. But this thing, for being a streetcar, this thing's got a lot of grip. I think a little bit more grip than that Supra, but I think I don't remember what speed we were going in the Supra, so it could just be the fact that the speeds are slower. Oh no! Yep, I knew it was going to happen. We're going to save it a little bit, so we're good. We're a minute off of the super time right now, but I don't know how much further we have. I was just running that section right there. Wow. 
30 seconds, so roughly, wow, 18 seconds off the Supra? That's not bad. Oh, that GTR. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on a set of course. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you guys want to see more here on a set of, like I said, Project Cars 2 will be coming to the channel here very soon. We're gonna find our parking spot actually so if you guys want to see more here on Nuremberg ring on these cars maybe trying to find what cars are faster comment down in the comment section down below as always you guys know you can follow my Facebook Twitch Twitter and Instagram and it's just reset me all of it found in the description box below so until next time guys I'd like to thank you guys for watching I'm evil rabbit and I'm out I'm loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign and she boring, love the way you twerk it